Welcome nature detectives. I'm Conrad Baker. I'm an outdoor educator with the New York State Office of Parks, Recreation, and Historic Preservation at Lutchworth State Park. And today I have a nature mystery for you. I found a funny looking hole in a dead tree right here. I think it's from some kind of woodpecker. I think we can use our nature tools to figure out what kind of woodpecker made this hole and how it helps us every single day. We use two nature tools to do that, our eyes and our fingers. First thing I notice about this woodpecker hole is its nice neat shape. You see how round it is? Lots of woodpeckers have different shaped holes. This one is almost perfectly round, like a coin or a full moon. Almost perfectly round, perfect circle. Second nature clue we can use to figure out what kind of woodpecker made this hole is its size. You see how easy it is for me to cover it up with my hand? It's about the same size as, say, a golf ball. And it's perfectly round, just like a golf ball. I bet a golf ball would fit right in that hole. And while we're in there, we can use our fingers to poke back into the back of the hole and see how deep it is. And I see that it's about the same depth as my pointer finger, just about that deep. So let's put all those nature clues together. We have a hole going straight into the side of a tree, about as deep as my pointer finger. It's about the same size as a golf ball, and it is perfectly round. This must be a downy woodpecker hole. Downy woodpeckers are a very common species of woodpecker in western New York. I bet you guys have seen them on your nature adventures. They are uh, about this tall. They're black and white and covered in a kind of a checkers pattern, if you notice. And there are a couple of different woodpeckers that look kind of like that. I'm thinking specifically of the hairy woodpecker, which is a close cousin. It looks almost exactly the same, except they're a little bit bigger. And hairy woodpeckers, being a little bit bigger, make a little bit bigger holes, too. So a hairy woodpecker will make a little bit bigger hole, and even a little bit bigger than that might be, say, a red-bellied woodpecker, which has some checkering on the back, but they have a really distinctive red belly. I don't think you guys would confuse a red-bellied woodpecker for a downy woodpecker. Downy woodpeckers are very common. We see them all the time. And they do a really important nature job for us humans. They are really good at eating different kinds of insects that live in rotting wood. So not only like this kind of dead tree that has all kinds of little grubs and bugs and worms inside, but we're talking about our houses and some wooden buildings that we might have. And because they like to eat grubs and bugs that live in rotting wood, sometimes woodpeckers pecking on the side of your house is a sign that maybe there are some bugs living in that wood. Maybe that part of your house or your garage or a barn is starting to rot. It's starting to become uh, rotten and, and, and soft. And so it might have to be replaced. It's a good clue that maybe something is wrong with that wood. It might be starting to spoil. And the downy woodpeckers are also very good at eating some insects that do harm to our food. Agricultural pests, farm pests. I'm thinking specifically of the European corn borer. It's a type of moth that its caterpillar really likes to eat corn. And of course, we humans like to eat corn, and our cows that make our milk and cheese like to eat corn too. So having a bad pest that likes to eat all of our corn before we can harvest it is very bad for us humans. Having downy woodpeckers around, however, is very helpful to us because the woodpeckers will eat the caterpillars before they can eat the corn. So they help us humans out by eliminating that agricultural pest, that farm pest. If you really want to put your nature detective skills to the test, try to find some downy woodpecker holes or downy woodpeckers in your neighborhood. You've probably seen them already. You'll see they're just about that tall, little checkered black and white birds, and they like to perch directly on the side of a tree. They don't like to hang out on branches very much. You might even see them coming to bird feeders, if you have bird feeders. They like peanuts and suet. They like very protein-heavy foods because, after all, they do really like to eat insects in the wild. And you might even see some downy woodpeckers on or around your, your house or your outbuildings. And like we say, they could be a sign that there are some bugs living in there, but they also might be waking you up early in the morning by tapping really loudly on a hollow part of your house or even on a metal gutter or downspout. Sometimes they'll tap on the side of the house looking for insects, but sometimes if they're tapping on metal, it could be because they're broadcasting and telling other woodpeckers, this is my territory, this is my home, and you should stay away and give me my space. 
It could be a territorial call of downy woodpeckers that's called drumming. Well, thank you so much for joining me for today's Nature Mystery. If you have any questions about downy woodpeckers or any other kinds of woodpeckers that live in western New York, please put a comment in the comment section below the video. Share this video with your friends to put their nature detective skills to the test. And as always, like Let's Wear State Park's Facebook page to stay tuned for more nature mysteries.